Hey, I'm going to give you a year in review for 2023 for the real estate market. So we saw the lowest number of sales that we've seen in over 23 years across the GTA. And keep in mind that we have a higher population. Um, 23 years ago, the population was two thirds of what it is now. And we have more housing that's been built. So it's pretty significant. Um, and of course, this is um, just because it's so much harder to buy a house right now and it's so expensive and the rates are up. Um, however, the bond yields are trending down. So the fixed rate, the five-year fixed rate has dropped in the last month, which is good news. Um, new listings have declined. And for example, here in Milton, we have two months of inventory for townhomes right now. Last fall, we were seeing up to six months of inventory. So um, three times as many homes on the market at that time for some micro markets. Um, the average sale price is down 5.4% from 2022. But if we take a look at um, the average for all home types last year um, was a million eighty two. And that is down from 2022, which is at 1.174 thousand here in Milton. But if we go back to 2020, the average price was only 860. So we're still up. 25.8% from 2020, that's not bad. And if we look at across the GTA, the numbers from 2020 to 2023 are still up 21%. So um, looking at the bigger picture, it's a little more positive than the drops that we've seen in the last couple of years. Um, if you have any questions, give me a shout. Um, here to help.